Welcome to USC Throws Report. This is going to be a weekly report. Uh, what I'm going to try to do with this is give you guys an update of competitions that we have uh, behind us, ahead of us, and practices that we had last week. So we'll start right now with the competition we had up in Spokane. Uh, first of all, it was great to see my uh, mentor in hammer throw, Tore Gustafsson, one of the best uh, coaches uh, of all time in hammer throw, obviously. Um, most of hammer throwers know about him. Uh, he was a great thrower, 80 meter thrower, and he's a coach of many great athletes, great Britain around the world. Uh, Koji Murafushi was uh, one of his athletes back in 2011 when Koji won world championships. So it was great to see Tore. Uh, Tore, again, thank you so much for your help and uh, mentoring me in a hammer throw. Uh, and you did some great things through uh, through your coaching online and your, uh, your experience that you're sharing with us. So uh, first of all, thanks, Tore. <coughs> uh, with the meet, it was a one-day meet. Uh, Summer was the only athlete we had from USC that was competing, and she did really well. She threw a school record. Uh, she beat her own school record uh, by a couple inches. Um, but uh, what I'm very um, impressed and very happy to see during her competition is the way she composed herself after the first throw. Now, we all know that not every throw is a perfect throw, and the uh, meat uh, can go in different directions. Uh, especially if you have a foul on the first throw. So what Summer did really well, she had a foul in the first throw. Uh, she composed herself. Uh, she went down to her area, calmed down, uh, visualized the throw. Uh, and while she was waiting, she did a couple of drills, came into that second throw, and all um, she was focusing on is to get a fair throw. Uh, the one that can get her another full throw. So very important for our young athletes out there is uh, when these things happen, it can be first fo two fouls. Uh, we, we've seen that so many times at the World Championships when athletes uh, hit the cage, they slip uh, on their first throws, and they, they come back and, um, and make the finals in a big way, right? Uh, so this is something that comes with experience, and Summer definitely showed that after her first throw. She composed herself, visualized the throw, and executed well. She threw enough to have secured next four throws and then after that our goal was for her to go for it right so now you're secured another four throws uh, with a distance that was um, that was easy for her to throw 17 30 that was a uh, easy throw and then she went for it the third throw wasn't as good uh, she pulled back a little bit on three and four you know warm up between the throws uh, she did a couple easy easy um, releases and then number four was again a foul uh, but it didn't stop her uh, confidence she knew that she can get a good throw if uh, if she everything gets together next throw 1882 really well and then on last throw uh, everything finally came down to uh, her best throw 63 feet nine inches so 1943 that's a USC record um, so great great meet very um, uh, good setup for the year all these first meets, I always talk to athletes about, they are to learn about yourself, to learn how to compete, to learn how to warm up, uh, to see what things went well, what things didn't go well. So always these first couple of meets is an uh, opportunity to learn. I mean, the whole season is an opportunity to learn, uh, but especially these first couple of meets, uh, you want to not set high expectations, but have a learning attitude, to have a good attitude uh, towards the competition in terms of learning, right? Uh, so what else we're, we're working on this uh, this week for summer is shot put. didn't go as well. We didn't expect it to, uh, to go really well. Anyways, we didn't have it too many practices. On practice, she's working on a good finish. So we're uh, learning how to wrist, uh, how to tape the wrist for her to, uh, to feel good at the end to have the stability uh, of the finish and uh, not rushing the entry. So that's one, two things that we're working on for uh, Summer and shot put. She had a great practice today with a hammer, uh, with the four and 5K, a really good connection, uh, working on not rushing the entry. So having a good windup and having a good connection and entry, that's the main thing for, uh, for her right now and going long on the left side, loose arms. It went really well today, um, so a good practice there. 
as well. Um, other athletes that we have, Nick is working on the left side as he shows it right to the left side um, to have that connection with the hammer. Again, he's been doing really well in this whole winter break. We had a couple of really, really good practices. We had a lot of rain too, which is very unusual for California uh, to have two weeks of rain, but really, really needed. So that was good and bad, right? It was good that California got some rain and good that Nick got some practices in the rain. As you all know, uh, nationals, NCAs can be rainy. We had quite a few of those in the last uh, couple of decades, especially if we compete in Eugene, it's 50-50 what you're going to get. And then might be, it might be rain in the warm-up, uh, sun in the first round, and then rain again for the second round or the second group. So you never know in uh, Eugene what you're going to get. So it was a good training for Nick to get some rain. Uh, but also it was good time off to get some training. He did really well in the weight room, working hard, 100K for a four. In the snatch, he did about, once, I think, 170 for six in squats. So a uh, really, really good connection, couple, a couple uh, competitions, a couple, a couple of practices. Uh, Christian also working on long entry, trying not to sit down after that first uh, turn. He has been doing really well as well, promising, uh, change a couple things in the orbit, orbit much better uh, now. So uh, trying to get good number of throws, stay healthy, get good number of throws uh, before before the season. Uh, another hammer throw, Mateo. He's our freshman, doing really well. This is basically, uh, I think, his second year of throwing. Today was the first time he threw AK. So that was interesting for him to uh, to get that feeling of weight pulling him, to have more connection, go a little slower. We're working on him not being too wide at the end, which you know comes from uh, obviously first three throws, having the left side, pushing the hammer to the left side, not being heavy on the right, not leaning to the side. Um, so that, that's two things that we're working on him. Threw a lot of 4Ks at the beginning, uh, 4 and 5, uh, and 6. Now we are up to 6 and 7 and 8. So he's doing really well. Carly is our discus thrower. She's a senior. She's been doing really well. I also, um, <laughs> I know I'm going to say that for all our athletes, but it is true. They're doing really well. I think anybody who throws is doing really well, first of all. So if you are a thrower and you throw, it's a good. It's good. Uh, it can be rough days, up and down. But if you're able to get out there and throw, it's always a good day. Uh, but Carly is doing more than just throwing. She's working on the left side in the entry really long. She's doing pretty well with getting that left side round in the entry and then not jumping in the middle. So what we're trying to do is for her not to land on the tip of her right foot. She's been doing really well on that and having the left arm long, but also keeping it down uh, once the right foot hits the ground. So... That's been um, really, really good the last eight days. She's been having more consistent throws than uh, than the whole fall. So all the discuses pretty much go down the middle. Uh, only now challenge or thing that we also work on is the flight of release. Uh, so what we implemented is picking back and forth in the field to help her with that flight. All right, so flight is really important in discus. You can lose and gain uh, many meters by just the angle of release. Now, I have discus now here, but I will show you guys with this uh, with this paper. So for you guys over there watching this on the video, uh, imagine discus have being like a clock. So front is 12 o'clock, right? This is 12 up. This is 3 o'clock on the side, on the right side, if we are looking at discus from the front. Um, we want 12 o'clock to be a little bit up and 3 o'clock a little bit down, right? So we don't want a flat discus. If, if you release flat, it's going to go really quickly to the left side. Uh, if it's the tip is down, it would just go straight to the ground. If tip is too high, also it will go up and to the left side. So we want the front of the discus, the 12 o'clock, a little bit up, and 3 o'clock, a little bit down, all right? So this is the angle we want. So Carl has been working on that in her drills that we do for the warm-up, back and forth. Um, so left side, left entry, left side really long, middle, when right hits the ground, left arm to the left side, 
and staying low so she can get a really good stretch across the chest at the end, uh, trying to be wide and really deliver discus with the right side with that right foot landing strong at the end. I know this is a lot of things, but Carly will know uh, will know what we're talking about. And if you guys see the videos, you'll see what I mean as well. So Carly, great last couple of weeks. Our javelin group, um, we're doing a lot of medicine throws. So a lot of throws with um, six pound, eight pound, ten pound med balls, uh, various various uh, directions and angles. We are also throwing a lot of 1K balls, 800 gram, as well as throwing javelin. So for Dylan, uh, we've been working on the block on the left foot. Uh, we continue to work on that, and we'll also try to work on his delay between the block and release. So what he does really well is get a good stretch um, for the jab at the end, but that stretch is very long. That stretch is very long. He's dragging the right foot, um, so we have a lot of waste of energy there so we work in that with uh, med balls we did a little uh, obstacle to the right side of the block so you can go around it like johannes fetter like uh, uh neiraj uh, like many other throwers we don't want to drag that right foot long we want to get the right side in and do that step basically we want to throw the javelin through the point and if you do that everything else falls through so that's also one of the things that we're working on throwing through the point uh, for Dylan, and uh, it's going it's going well so far. He's getting stronger in the weight room. Uh, so, the very very good week uh, behind us, and a good break. He worked out uh, over the break, so a lot of gains were retained. Um, um, for Cameron, she's our graduate student. We're working on the block, direction of the javelin. When she blocks, now she's doing much better. Last uh, couple of sessions with left foot straight. Not hitting the block with the toes, but hitting it either, either with heel or flat. So she's right-handed, so left foot would be for her. And I say that because we have a, a lefty here as well as javelin thrower. Uh, so her block is very good. Javelin is too steep in the finish, so we're working on that. Uh, but she's getting she's getting better at that. Her schedule is really tough. She's going to be a doctor, uh, and she's just incredibly hard worker. So Cameron, good job. Um, and I always tell her the work that she does, we need more people like her. Uh, on to Annabelle. Annabelle is coming back, uh, getting back in the weight room, getting a little stronger. For her, it will be also the direction of the javelin thrown to the point. Uh, last practice went really well. Um, Annabelle is, is a tough, tough worker as well. She doesn't, she doesn't know how to rest too much. Uh, she wants to work hard, uh, and she's been doing great. So, um, we are excited about the season for her and Abby, our last uh, thrower. She is a lefty. So for her, we're working on the right foot, staying a little bit more to the right when she lands. So she tends to block herself off uh, and get that good stretch at the end. So we want elbow to uh, to the rib um, and get that good stretch across the chest. Uh, Abby has been doing pretty well um, with that. We did some running uh, uh, drills as well for all the javelin throwers. What's important for Javelin is to be a runner as much as you are a thrower. So we're working, we introduced sleds this week. We're going to do that going forward as well. So we're working on explosive stuff in the weight room and at the track. Um, so that's the week so far. This is January 16th today, Monday. Last week was really good. And we going forward, like I said, we're going to focus on, for outdoor folks, on strength, transitioning a little bit more explosiveness, and for those competing indoor, which is only summer for now, but we'll have some throwers throwing uh, a couple of couple other meets um, as well. We're still focusing on strength, but a little bit more flexible in terms of of uh, last couple of days of the week uh, to have some rest. To be obviously we're traveling, so have rest after the, we come back from travel. Uh, so we're gonna try to do this once a week for you guys to see what we're doing and how we do it. And also for us to keep a diary, basically, of how things are going through a week, what things are we adjusting, what we thought it's going to be, and how it turned up. Um, so a good, good reflection when we go forward to see where we were and what things we need to improve on um, and what things are going great. So uh, have a good rest of the week. Thank you for watching and listening, and see you guys next week. Oh, there you go.
Round two.